DraftKings Rainmakers, the NFT fantasy game is over. Just like that, like a thief in the night, no warning, no suspicion on anybody's part. It is done. Less than 24 hours ago, they were promoting their next drop, their next sale of tokens and contests. And now it is 2.41 p.m. on Tuesday, July 30th. And this is all over. If you don't know what Rainmakers is, it's essentially a fantasy football style game where you pay money to open packs with cards in them. Those packs become or those cards become your team and then you enter those teams into lineups. That is the very basic way I can explain it. But the cards are, um, you know, identified as NFTs and there's been some legal recourse with DraftKings offering these NFTs. Are they securities? Are they not? What's their value? And it seems like there was a lot of gray area that DraftKings was kind of ignoring and just getting away with selling and trading and promoting these contests and games. And today it's all for naught. Now I will say personally, I am but a minnow in this sea of whales. Some people have spent millions of dollars on these cards and on contests, and I'm not exaggerating millions. Um, I forgot to check what my actual spent total was. I'll go ahead and pop it right up here, okay? But I did not spend a ton of money. Uh, you sure about that? Uh, I, I hope, I think. Um, if I did, I tried to sell. That was mainly my thing. I would buy and I would flip packs and I would try to sell them for a profit. So I do not have a ton invested in this. You sure about that? Although I did have 138 unopened NFL rookie packs that I was looking to sell for a profit, probably could have made about five bucks each on them. I digress. That's frustrating, but there are people who are in a worse position than me. But here we are. All of the nonsense has culminated in them shutting down. Enough of me. Let's talk about what they said to our community. After careful consideration, we've decided to discontinue the Rainmakers and Marketplace effective immediately due to recent legal developments. It was not made lightly, but it was made quickly, evidently, because you didn't give us any warning. Due to the update, we have decided to offer all holders of Rainmakers digital game pieces the opportunity to relinquish those pieces in exchange for cash payments subject to certain conditions. We do not know right now what that means. There's a lot of fear in the DraftKings Discord where people talk about this, that it's going to be pennies on the dollar. I paid $5 for this card, for this pack. You're gonna give me 75 cents, like that type of compensation. People are worried and I am worried too. The payment amount will be based on factors that include but are not limited to the relative size and quality of your token. Now, here's the other issue. Um, each of the tokens are numbered, all right? So some people have, you know, if, if you're talking about a Patrick Mahomes card, some people have edition number one, and some people have edition 432. And people value certain numbers over others, even though the card is the exact same. So what are they gonna do in that instance? Is DraftKings going to uh, assign the value of the card number to the user who owns it? I would say they probably won't. And given how this market works, I would say that's slightly unfair. At DraftKings, our mission is to serve customers Customers with excellence. We're committed to meeting the needs of sports and providing an exciting and entertaining gameplay in line with our spirit. We ventured into this NFT world and accomplished so much in such a short period of time. We're grateful and passionate. Shut up. We don't care. While Rainmakers and our NFT marketplace will be discontinued, our customers can access their portfolios and such on the page. All right. So they're offering you to withdraw your NFT. My advice is don't do that. I started to do that and uh, I decided that I think you may, I just, I'm going to wait. I think we need to wait and leave everything on DraftKings until there is a, you know, kind of a bigger consensus of what's going on. So I would recommend not withdrawing anything at the moment. It's not going to go anywhere. Just keep it on there. Uh, why is it discontinuing? Careful consideration. They've decided to cancel it due to recent legal developments. I'm sure you can find other information. I did not bother to look into it except the fact that I know they were in court over these NFTs, whether they were registered securities or not, and there was some something something happened okay um rainmakers can no longer be traded on the secondary market and they have no contests for them so right now you can look at them and that's it and hopefully you'll be able to sell them to DraftKings for some compensation soon um all holders of rainmakers digital game pieces will have the opportunity to give those back to DraftKings in form of cash but we still don't know how much that is within a week after july 30th so within the next week we will hopefully find out how do you access them? They're still where they always are on their portfolio. Um, you can trade them to another marketplace if you want, uh, but I think they have no utility anywhere else. 
Uh, when's the last contest happening? Well, guys, it's already happened. There are no more. I don't care if you were prepping for the PGA event this week on Tuesday. People just spent thousands of dollars in the last 24 hours on PGA cards that no longer have any worth at all. Any money uh, as part of your wallet, you can withdraw it or you can wait. What happens to my NFTs that were listed for sale? Well, they've become unlisted. What happens to any offers? Well, they've become unlisted. And if you want to take any to your own wallet, you can. But again, I would say you should wait. So that is the FAQ. That is the announcement. Again, guys, if we look at my portfolio right now, um, you can see that uh oh crud all of my cards opened okay they opened all my packs all my packs are now open yep i have zero packs um i had 138 packs this morning so <sighs> here are all my cards um oh nice i got 50 DraftKings dollars i hope i can still use that that just popped out of nowhere that was an instant win um outside of that golly a bunch of just core trash cards are these all cores? Mm, there's a rare Bo Nix. Are these all, okay, a rare Lad McConkie, a rare Brian Thomas. Okay, 50 more DraftKings dollars. That's nice. Trey Benson, Drake May, Jonathan Brooks. Again, guys, I had 138 of these packs, okay? Like, you need to understand that this is a lot of cards in here. Uh, Bowers. Oh, boy. Um, oh, look. Uh, more 50 DraftKings dollars. So I hope I get at least my 150 DraftKings dollars that have just been sitting in these packs. That would be nice, right? Um, and that's all. Okay. So I don't know what's going to happen right now. I have, what do I have? Uh, 438 cards. No idea how much I'm getting for them. No idea what's going on. Hopefully I can get my instant win. I mean, what are we doing, guys? Give me my 150 bucks for crying out freaking loud. What happens if I withdraw? I can't withdraw it. Okay, that's that folks. That's it. Um, good luck. And I'm so like, I'm genuinely, I feel for people who have spent so much money on this, on the trust that it was reasonable and accurate and DraftKings was gonna hold up to their end of the bargain. And I hope that they do. I hope they fairly compensate every individual who's in this. And that's going to be a multi-million dollar compensation for them. I got nothing else to say. Ask me some questions in the chat. I'll try to help. And uh, we move forward. We move on. We'll see you next time.